Let's talk about Ladle. Hello everyone. My name is Wojta Mikshu and I work on web infrastructure at Uber. Today I'm going to show you an open source tool we use to develop and test React components called Ladle. Ladle is an application that loads your components through stories so you can work on them in isolation. Let's jump into the demo. Our folder is empty, so first we need to initialize our project. And we need to add some dependencies as React, React DOM, and Ladle. By default, Ladle looks for your stories inside of the source folder. And it looks for files ending with .stories.tsx, so let's create one. Stories are also just components, uh, React components that need to be exported. Let's create story name first that exports a heading. And now we can start uh, ladle with command serve. It starts immediately thanks to Vite. On the left side, you can find your component and on the right side, there is navigation that lists all the stories discovered by Ladle. Uh, by default, it's using uh, file names and export names to create this navigation, but that can be also changed programmatically. Uh, let's add some more stories to demonstrate other features. This story has an accessible button. You can run accessibility check with X if you click on this button. And now it tells us there is one violation. Uh, the element doesn't have sufficient color contrast. Another feature uh, is useful when you need to test responsiveness. You can change and switch between different viewports. Uh, the default value can be set through the parameter dot meta. Uh, sometimes it might be useful to display different variations of your components. There is a feature called controls for that. Uh, in this case, we can change the value of size and we can switch between three different values. And this is how it looks inside of the code. It's using uh, argument.archetypes where we specify uh, the variable and the options. And then it's being passed back to the story as a prop. There's a feature actions. Uh, you can pass a logger into attributes such as onclick. So when you click on your button, Ladle gives you a nice log where you can see the details about your event. Action is a function that's being exported from Ladle. And there are some additional features at the bottom. You can switch between light and dark mode. You can display your component in full screen. Uh, you can switch between left to right and right to left. And you can preview uh, the source code of your story and also its location. And finally, Ladle exposes endpoint meta.json that gives you structured information about your stories, uh, including things like IDs. And this can be extremely useful for further automation and testing. So what is Ladle? Layla is built on top of Veed. It's a Veed plugin, React UI, and CLI in one package. And here are some guiding principles and reasons why we build it. We want to have instant server startups and very fast incremental updates. Sounds familiar? Layla is all in one package, so you will never run into dependency versioning hell. There is no initial configuration, but you can still add global decorators load additional style sheets or fonts. Ladle implements component story format, pioneered by Storybook, and in fact, it can work in place of Storybook. We also deeply care about monorepo support and programmatic APIs, because that's how we use it. Ladle was launched earlier this year, and so far it got great feedback from the community. So please join us, give us a star, and thanks for listening.